you'll just read it to me? Sure, I can read it to you. Hey guys, i um, going to do our devotion, so I'm going to pray and then dig into God's word. Let's pray. Uh, God, thank you so much for your word. I just pray that you would speak to us tonight um, or today, whenever people are watching this, and I pray that uh, you'd be glorified through our obedience to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's dig in. Our verses are from Genesis 1 and Psalm 50. Then God said, Let the earth produce living creatures according to their kinds, livestock, creatures that crawl, and the wildlife of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. So God made the wildlife of the earth according to their kinds, livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or for your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your household or male goats from your pens, for every animal of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains, and the creatures of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and everything in it is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice a thank offering to God and pay your vows to the Most High. Call on me in a day of trouble, and I will rescue you, and you will honor me. Um, so these verses remind us that um, God made everything, and he owns everything. So, like, he gave us things on the earth to enjoy, but it's still all his. Um, so we're to be his stewards of all this stuff. Like, all the cattle on a thousand hills, it's all his. Now, we still often take ownership of these things. Um, and it's our responsibility to be good stewards of these things. But as soon as we think that we're self-made men, like I own this and I can do whatever I want with this, um, we've gone beyond how God wants us, uh, how God wants us to think of this stuff. Uh, God wants us to see everything as his. And um, we we're the best stewards of all these things when we keep that in mind. Like um, we're not just to take our money, not just to take our possessions and like, use it frivolously for whatever purpose that we want. Um, we're supposed to use it for him. Um, but, but that's also a joyful thing. Like he, he invites us to do this. He invites us to pay our vows to him. Um, and, and we can do that joyfully because he's a good father. Uh, he gives us all this stuff to enjoy and we get to enjoy it and, um, use it for his glory. So I, I just encourage you, I, all of us to, Recognize that all of, all that we have is from him and uh, use it for him. God bless you guys.